The refugee crisis in Europe has reached a tipping point. Germany opened its doors to refugees, sparking off protests across other European countries. But with half-hearted promises being made by the leaders, the crisis seems far from over. India Today's Lavina Tandon brings us this report from London. Europe is teeming with asylum seekers flooding in from all directions. Across the length and the breadth of the continent, there has been a sudden surge in the empathy for refugees streaming out from Syria and Afghanistan, a countries brutally marred by the Islamic State. Suddenly, humanity has coiled up to much needed relief for hopeless asylum seekers. But this is not an overnight miracle. This is the picture that changed the hearts worldwide and jolted the world to a realization that they had been averting out of sheer indifference. Not that the world wasn't aware of the plight of Syrians shattered and rendered helpless hopeless by the evil grip of Islamic State. But it was this moment that cut through their ignorance and brought the myriad grief of refugees to the center stage. And sparked worldwide solidarity with the grief-stricken refugees. The refugee crisis has hit through the rooftop. 3,30,000 people have died since the brutal Syrian civil war began in March 2011. Well, 7.6 million people have been displaced internally, 4 million have fled the country altogether. 2,500 refugees and migrants even sank to death while attempting to escape through Mediterranean Sea this year. However, it wasn't until three-year-old islands images flashed across news channels that the world got up and took notice. After the coal ignorance came glaring, Several European countries opened their borders, even as others broke into revolt vehemently, cementing their stiff border walls. Clinging to the last traces of hope, more than 4 million Syrian refugees departed to seek asylum in neighboring countries, and few of the neighbors have been adequately generous. While Turkey has housed the highest number of refugees, Lebanon and Jordan have also shouldered a fair amount of responsibility. Despite intense turmoil, Iraq has also given shelters to asylum seekers. Rest of the Syrian refugees have settled in Egypt and North African countries. Lately, Germany and Sweden have also demonstrated exceptional, unexpected kindness with Germany taking in 98,700 refugees and Sweden 64,700. I'm happy that Germany has become a country that many people outside of Germany now associate with hope. Chancellor Angela Merkel's humanitarian gesture was appreciated worldwide, her appeal reverberating across Europe. With the pro-refugee noises stirring high across the globe, the reluctant politicians feel pushed across to the wall to let the asylum seekers slip in. However, their nodding gestures don't seem like a change in heart. Despite deafening noises seeking to generate an immediate response, United States President Barack Obama called for at least 10,000 Syrian refugees to be welcomed into the country, that too next year. Dismayed at the announcement, the International Rescue Committee called upon the United States to settle 100,000 Syrian refugees in 2016. Similarly, the United Kingdom, well known for its resistance to refugee intake, merely agreed to resettle 20,000 Syrians over the next five years. Much in stark contrast to the other European counterparts who are responding to the crisis far more enthusiastically. But a part of Europe is also revolting at the prospect of letting the asylum seekers in. Slovakia's Prime Minister Robert Fico announced that his country will accept only Christian refugees. Fico called it a false solidarity to force Muslims to settle in a country that doesn't have even a single mosque. 
exhibiting an open disgust, Hungary's hardcore Prime Minister Viktor Orban called the refugees in flux a rebellion by illegal migrants and even pledged a new crackdown. European Union, already fragile by Greek and Euro crisis, is now reeling under a new threat. The threat of bigger countries attempting to delegate refugee responsibilities under quota system and smaller countries revolting. But the big question is, will the European Union unite to face the backlash of the Islamic State and will it always take such heart-wrenching images for the world to wake up?